Hi guys, I'm Sam Dixon and I'm sitting here with Fatty Gets the Stylist and we're on 1700. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Look, you've just released your first self-titled album with your new side project. How's it all going? Yeah, it's going really well. It's, um, it's very different to any music that I've done before. This is a lot more electronic and I'm using a, a different register of my voice, singing a lot lower than I normally sing. Uh, and yeah, it's electro pop music and we're pretty happy with how it came out. Yeah, the album's just come out this week and uh, I think it was only beaten by Crowded House's greatest hits on the charts. <laughs> ah, so, yeah. Immediate success. <laughs> it's a great album. I had a really good listen to it and you know, it's very, it is very 80s fun pop. I mean, what took us down this new avenue? Where, what made us choose 80s electro pop? Well, first of all, it was this new voice um, that I discovered in the shower. And this, um, in the shower? Yeah, I was just singing one of the, our new songs and uh, and this voice uh, came out and for some reason it kind of it imbued the song with a different personality. The voice had its own character and had its own things to say and uh, and that became an album of material. And the other the other thing was I guess the fact that we've been on tour for the last couple of years, so we had to make the kind of music that could be made on a laptop and hotel rooms. That's right, yeah. Now Bjork and Gorillaz, they're all doing this whole making albums on iPads, you know, and you guys have gotten <laughs> onto that. How different was the production? I mean, was it easier? Did you have more creative freedom to sort of do it online as opposed to in the studio and the usual writing process? Yeah, well, definitely, whereas when you, what you're usually doing is sort of going into a place to actually make something, whereas this happened naturally in in hotel rooms, etc., while we're touring, and rather than going, rather than getting the songs together and then going into a studio and putting them down, it was more like it naturally evolved over time. And what we ended up with was the end product. Like we only, the stuff we were working on on the demos was the same music that came out of the end. You know, it's rather you do a draft and then record it later. That's what yeah. we've done on Kate's previous album. Well, I guess, yeah, different sort of, like, I guess, genres as well, because, you know, you come from a real ballad base, and you've done, like, some progressive rock kind of stuff as well, so it's yeah. a complete new avenue, but I guess it's good to dominate the market, and I can do all of these things. Well, actually, I, um, I've always done upbeat songs as well, but I've never done anything this electro. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that last day on that song, I have to say, it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, so you're a bit of a double agent <laughs> with that now, but um, in terms of how Fatty came about, now I heard that it wasn't actually going to get released before your next album, there was a bit of a, a moment on the Ben Folds tour, is that right, where you realised that you wanted to put it out? Yeah, well, we weren't quite sure what, how we wanted to to go about releasing it. We, we dabbled with the idea of putting it out under pseudonym um, so that no one would know that it was us. Uh, and then we went down that path for a while and it became very complicated and it became evident that it would involve lying to people, which we weren't really very comfortable with. Yeah, we're comfortable lying to the band, but not to anyone else. And so, yeah, Ben <laughs> Folds basically just said, you know, get over it, just put it out. Just do it. Tell people that it's you. And, uh, and that was kind of a, yeah, a minor epiphany moment. I think every artist has one of those. But um, look, in terms of the film clip, is the film clip being released yet? Or? It has been. Yeah. As little, the little heads, like these two like digital heads. How did that come about? It's really interesting. Well, actually, they're not digital. They look a bit digital, but they're well, they're cardboard. They're cardboard. Yeah, yeah. very convincing. Mm. Kia's, uh, Kia's sister-in-law and brother made them using 3D imaging from photos of our faces. Oh wow! Mm. Do you have them at home, like on a on a mat like mantle? <laughs> like? They're uh, they're in big garbage bags. But we want to we want to turn them into lamps, so put a light bulb into each of our heads. Yeah, if that's so not we can too... look at ourselves <laughs> yeah. when we walk in the door. I don't know. So glad we're home. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, like, you couldn't really do a live set with one of those things on your head. No, because you can't breathe in them. No. Actually, while we're making the clip, we if you had it on for longer than 15 minutes, you'd start to see coloured lights because, from the lack of oxygen. You know? <laughs> they actually had special people fanning air up under our under the necks of them because it was. Uh, yeah, touch and go as to whether we stay conscious for the whole duration. You don't want to take two because one of you passed out. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awkward. But um, and so you guys going to be touring this album very shortly, or? Yeah, we are. Um, later on this year. Awesome. So if Fatty gets a stylist, um, check it out. It's just been released this week, and it's an amazing electro album. I love it. I've had it in my head all morning. But thanks so much, guys. And you're watching 1700.